Hello all, this video explains how to use the dual state button tool of NextGen Editor to control an LED from Arduino. In this demo, I am using the model NextGen 4024T032, which means 400 by 240 resolution pixel and 3.2 inch display. The communication protocol is uh, serial and to communicate with any microcontroller, it has got four pins. 5 volt, ground, RX and TX. It can be easily connected with the Arduino and the next display has got its own STM32 IC. For uploading code uh, that is developed code using next gen editor we use uh, USB to TTL or SD card method. In this demo I am using USB to TTL. For developing TFT file we use the next gen editor. Open the next gen editor and then file new provide a file name this file is created as a .hmi file all project files should be in a separate project folder before starting the project you collect some images some background images for background images you can visit uh, visit pixabay website which has got millions of uh, copyright free images high resolution images and then google for uh, uh, on off switch images download this uh, switch image and then edit with uh, uh, some uh, picture editor for as per your need inkscape is a very good uh, picture editor it is powerful as uh, photoshop and then you can use windows paint or airphone view in this demo i'm using airphone view uh, open the downloaded uh, background image using airphone view uh, software and then uh, for resize the image image resize and then select the pixels select pixel as 400 by 240 it should match the resolution of your uh, type of next gen display this is very important uh, it should not be different it should be same as per your uh, uh, next gen model always while creating a new project first create your font using font generator of next gen uh, editor Select the font size and uh, font type and give a name, save it as .zip file. Add this file to the project. At the left hand side bottom corner you can see the font tab as well as the picture tab. Here you can see the uh, font file generated by you. Next to the font uh, tab uh, there is a picture tab. Now click on that and then click the plus symbol. Add the background image that we have converted to 400 by 240 pixel that matches the resolution of uh, our uh, next gen display and then add the two uh, switch images on and off uh, switch images that we have downloaded and converted using Inks Inkscape uh, picture editor <coughs> now the switch image seems to be bigger size as compared to our uh, resolution of our uh, next gen display so delete this uh, switch image and then uh, open the switch image using uh, irfan view file <coughs> and then use uh, uh, image resize now select the percentage type instead of pixel you select the percentage type you convert percentage to 60 from 100 you make it as 60 uh, percent now from the picture tab click on the plus symbol and then add this uh, two converted uh, switches that is a uh, on switch and off switch import it to your project now the size is uh, small and it will match the, our canvas and from the toolbox now click on picture tool you can see p0 on canvas and at the right hand side attribute section double click on the empty space again uh, pac uh, you will see the all the three pictures downloaded select the background image now you can uh, see the background image on your canvas this is picture p0 on page 0 if you want you can change the name of p0 now from the toolbox select the double state button this is uh, uh, available only in the new version of next gen editor this double state button is represented as bt0 under the right hand side attribute section uh, you can see an attribute called STA this is by default uh, it is solid from the drop down select the image and change the attribute of STA to image 
now you can see uh, below this sta two uh, attributes pac0 and pac1 against the pac0 uh, double click the empty space and select the off switch and against pac1 uh, double click the empty space and select the on switch now the switch is uh, displayed on the canvas now uh, you see a text a new text to change that go to txt text attribute and then delete the uh, name available there now the switch will be clear click on debug button to open the simulator of next gen editor so without the physical next gen display you can test the project uh, the switch on off you can test on the simulator now close the simulator and then from the next gen ide select the bt0 double state button below the canvas you can see under event window two uh, events touch press event and then touch release event select the touch release event so that when the switch is pressed and then released this code is executed you can write some basic code under this event uh, type in print space bt0 that is the name of the object uh, double switch object bt0 dot val so that when the switch is pressed uh, you can get uh, four bytes of hex data uh, on the serial while typing in the code you can see the intelligence uh, it will give the options the next gen editor is uh, will give the options now click on debug button to open the simulator now when you press the switch on switch uh, you will get four bytes of data zero one followed by three zeros and then off switch you will give four bytes of zero hex data now drop in a text uh, object from the toolbox the name of the object is t0 you can change the background color by clicking against bc0 that is a background color uh, from the draw drop down you can select more colors and then select the select your wanted color and uh, pc0 attribute is to change the font color you can change the text color as well as the background color to change the name of the text you change the attribute txt to led status now under the uh, release event you change the code like this already we have print space bt0 dot value val uh, below that you add a if class if bt0 dot val has a value of one note the usage of uh, double uh, equal sign and then open bracket to dot txt led on that is the text value of uh, to attribute we change it to led on when bt0 dot value is one else if the if the bat bt0 dot val is uh, has a value of zero we change the text value of t0 to led off now debug it open the simulator on uh, pressing the switch switch on means you get four bytes of uh, hex data and the text changes to led on and when you press the switch again off switch the status of uh, text changes to led off and four bits of data again you will get to upload this uh, tft file we use uh, usb to ttl device this usb to ttl is built on cp2102 ic uh, connection is simple 5 volt to vcc ground to ground tx to rx and rx to uh, tx just like you uh, connect to with arduino now uh, from the next gen editor click on compile the file will be uh, hmi file will be compiled and then uh, if no error is there you will get a ready now click on upload select the com port of usb to ttl and then the baud rate as uh, 115200 select a higher baud rate so that uh, uh, the file uploaded will be faster now you can see on the next gen display the file tft file is being uploaded it will take some time uh, as compared to the sd card method now let us connect the next gen display to arduino uh, board and then write the arduino code the connection between next gen display and uh, arduino is uh, simple only four wires 5 volt to vcc ground to ground and uh, tx to rx and uh, rx to tx 
no separate power source is required for next gen display you can take it from arduino itself while uploading the code always uh, uh, remove the os at rxtx now let us uh, see the arduino code open the arduino ide first we define some uh, some constants are uh, used for uh, switch on and off and then uh, we use a received variable as byte array of 4 as uh, we will receive 4 bytes of data uh, we use a 4 byte array the index starts at 0 so including null character we have to use 4 bytes 0 to 4 means 5 bytes including the null byte on the setup we open the serial dot begin and under loop if serial dot available we call the function switch control under this function we use the serial dot read bytes until function to know the size uh, there is a number of characters the index 0 of uh, received data has got the switch value 1 or 0 that we assign it to integer uh, switch position and accordingly we make the led built in on or off if switch position value is 1 we make the led on and if it is uh, 0 we make the led off now uh, upload the code onto arduino uh, remember to remove the rxtx wires while uploading the code onto arduino and then connect back the wires now once the code is uploaded uh, from next gen display you touch on the switch if it is on the led uh, built-in led will be uh, on and when the switch is off the built-in led will be off thank you for watching